Yeah, so been a while. <laughs> okay, so basically I'm green screen. Got a little bit of rearranging the room. Uh that green screen up just then. But that's obviously temporary. So we've got Her Majesty the Queen to the right. And I just got these books put there to the left. If you've been wondering why I haven't made any videos at all recently, well I have. Because I have a second channel that it seems a lot of people don't know exists, even though I highlighted it in a previous video. It's called Loom Highlights and I'll link it into the description, as always. There I usually post memes. So you can clearly tell I'm a little bit more rusty because I don't do this frequently anymore, as I said three months ago. <laughs> um, but we'll keep it going. I actually had the opportunity to do a little bit of custom cooking, so let me show you a little bit of my expertise, or lack thereof. Cooking with Wu for snacks! Kangaroo Spaghetti. Step 1. Open your kangaroo. Open. It is absolutely imperative that when preparing kangaroo spaghetti that you have a news channel selected on your television. I do not know why, but it is vital. Especially if it is government funded. There we go. I got him open! Kangaroo! Once you open your kangaroo, you must prepare to put it in a pan after cutting the correct proportions. That be enough? Me? I have no idea. There we go. Got him. Still a little frozen in the middle, but so it goes. Hmm. Meaty as hell. Remember to wash your hands. My fingers smell like kangaroo. Probably chuck it straight on. I have no clue. Oh. Moist and hot. Yeah, that being frozen part's making it a little hard. Just got this meat and I'm gonna cook it. Remember to grate some vegetables so as to appease the vegetable gods. Although tomato is technically a fruit, you must also cut that to appease the vegetable gods. The politics surrounding it is confusing. I don't know if this is enough meat, but I ain't gonna bother doing any more, so yeet. Putting in some of the tomatoes. Chucked in a cup of water for good measure. Get nice and wet. Put in some carrots. Add a bit of content. When you're placing tomatoes into More the tomatoes, pan, make I sure you conduct like a, a ritual on, so. song. Because the gelatin soil is so terrible, only tomatoes can grow on them. Fill up some water for spaghetti because we need spaghetti. This still looks a little sad, so I just chopped up a little bit of cheese to see what happens. <laughs> the cheese melted. Chuck on the pot. Don't worry, it's medicinal. There we go. Let that settle and let the pot boil. Not boiling, but we just chuck it right in anyway. Give that a bit of time. Goody goody. Don't forget to do your dishes too. Probably shouldn't put a knife in like that, but whatever. As you know. Still a bit straight till it's wet enough. Get one of these things, the holy bowl, get a nice hot spaghetti, chuck her in there. There we are, beauty. Need your spatula and chuck it in there. Yummy, yummy. Plenty of it too. Probably should have only used half a carrot, but delicious. And we get the spaghetti, we put it on top. Usually it's the other way around. But 
This is a special dish. I might just mix it in a little, just, you know. There we go. Get some cheese on there. Just a token amount, nothing too serious. Eat the spaghetti. Well, I'm not dead, so that's good news. Not yet, anyway. The dying process for the average Australian man will take approximately 82.5 years. Don't mind me just randomly changing scenes while we get to be Also had the swimming carnival. I got about five seconds of footage for that, so here you go. The swimming carnival had volleyball as one of the things. You? Also, there was swimming. Believe it or not, there was actually swimming at the swimming carnival. This is such an incredible change of pace. Sure.